The following program contains medical procedures. Channel 9 recommends parental guidance. Tonight on RPA, a high-speed crash with no seatbelt, and Jacqueline finds herself in emergency. I'm going to take her up here. Bring her up here. Oh, I've got time in my face, or I'm not paying. Tracy and Tony prepare for baby number two. Just want a cup of tea. That's what I want. <laughs> you know, just come and sit in here. And more tests for Denise than microsurgery to cure those dizzy spells. Basically, what we're going to be doing is testing your vestibular or your balance mechanisms, all right? Now, what this first test involves is you just sitting there. You'll be in complete darkness, except for a little fixation light that you'll have in front of you. And I'll be turning that light off. You'll be staring straight ahead at the spot where the light was while I do different things to the chair. We'll be rocking it gently from side to side, slowly and then quickly. And then we spin it six times in all, alternately testing each ear. Now, this is the little infrared sensor that's just going to sit over your left eye. Picks up your eye movements for us. And I'm just aligning your ear and eye up there. I'm just going to lower this bar. And this is the calibration bar, OK? Now, you see that little light offset to the left a little bit? Yes. What you have to do is keep your head still for the first part of the test and just follow the lights across the bar. I'm going to get the computer to generate them across here, OK? Keep your head still and just follow them, OK? Mm -hmm. I'll be turning the room lights out, but I'll be just out there talking to you, OK? The light's going out. When it does, just look straight ahead at the spot where it was. If you lose the plot completely, I'll flash the light for you. Just looking at the spot where it was, that's great. This is where we're actually looking to see if your ears are triggering any spontaneous eye movement. Yours looks fine. Now we do exactly the same thing out on the right. So just looking at that light out there on the right side, that's great. If you get a bit dizzy, don't worry about it. It'll pass very quickly after about five or ten seconds. That's excellent. Good. Have a good blink and relax. Knock, knock. Hi, how are you doing? Are you ready to come in? How long ago was that Caesar of yours? Thirteen and a half years. Thirteen and a half years ago? Yep. <laughs> and uh, you had about 12 hours of labour then, didn't you? And, uh, yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah, didn't really get into it, didn't get out of it, and got to three centimetres and needed a Caesar. That's right, yeah. yep. How big was your baby then? Nine pound one. Nine pound one, that's a good size. Yeah. I think this one's probably about the same size. It certainly feels pretty big. I will get going. As soon as we can, as soon as theatres have got a theatre, yep. we'll be underway. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you in there. Okay, then. Thanks. Terrific. You right? Did that make you dizzy? Yes, it did, but it did stabilise, as you said. It does. Once you reach a constant Amazing. velocity, yeah. after you've stimulated the little hair cells, mm. it, um, the dizziness stops. Are you feeling all right? Yes, thanks. Good. Now, hang on to this rail here as you stand up. <clears throat> Good. Just hang on and stand up and I'll move the chair out of your way. Are you okay? Yep, thank you. All right, now let's take you outside. Watch the steps. You're really off balance, aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We'll come and we'll take you and sit you down just here. Actually, no, we won't. We'll take you in here because we're going to be doing your next test in here anyway, OK? You're actually a bit sweaty too. Mm -hmm. OK. Tough. Just take a seat and relax there for a minute while I just go and... There's, I mean, there's no point in doing anything else at the moment until that's all settled down, OK? Yep, thank you. But it, you will feel better, <laughs> OK? <laughs> OK, I've just got to get this data out. We're right. Shafali's in there ready to go. Now, 
Yeah. You're ready to go. You okay? Yeah. The red hat looks good. I like that. It's a, it's a, it's a happening look. It's a happening look. It's very good, isn't it? You, you don't have a hat. No, not yet. We've got to get a hat. This was going to be so relaxed, wasn't it, this afternoon? Having a nice, relaxed, elective Caesar, and, mm -hmm. and here you are. Yeah. Good, because I was saying we didn't bring our camera, so we're better off now. You didn't bring your camera? No, because I didn't expect to be in late ah. last night, see? I just expected to see yeah. you this afternoon. Thank yeah, you. Oh, that happened to me as well. My wife had a baby. Yeah? Yeah, I was on overtime. Right. And she came in when I was on overtime. Yeah. I couldn't go home. I was going to get a little cricket bat. And when the baby's born, put a little cricket bat in the baby's hand. Oh. And she didn't bring the cricket bat in. It was oh. hopeless. Oh. And I was stuck at work and couldn't go home and get it. Oh. Looks great, the red cat. Does it? <laughs> Very attractive. Have I got colour in my face or am I pale? No, you're better now. That's good. I just want a cup of tea. That's what I want. <laughs> Ready? Excellent. Yeah. It's going to be crowded. Yeah. We'll have some fun though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, mate. Never in my history of obstetric career has oh. ever baby, any baby been called Greg. I think it's probably it's a dame of the sixties, you see. Yeah. Greg Brady, he was he was a Greg. Uh, Hasn't been any Gregs called Greg for the last mm. well, at least 15, 20 years, I'd imagine. Most theatres are a little bit bigger than this one. Mm -hmm. This is our broom closet we converted into a theatre. Mm -hmm. Come in. How are you feeling after all those tests? Uh, rather you. wonky. wonky. Hello, how are you? Sure, doctor. Come and sit, please sit down. Thank you. Are you feeling any worse after that or? It's been stimulated, yes. I'm feeling a bit giddy. The tests were really there to test the other parts of the inner ear on the side that's being operated to make sure they're all right and also to test the function in the ear that's not going to be operated to make sure they're all right. And as far as I can tell, everything else is perfect. Oh, fine. But I think it's important that you know what to expect. Yes. In other words, this is in no way is a cure for all types of dizziness. Mm. And I can't be utterly sure that there isn't an element of another sort there. We may have to deal with that separately, but at the moment, the predominant effect seems to be positional, and that the operation can fix. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about? Any other detail that... No, I think after those tests, I've, I've really just about had enough. Just about? Yes. Just want to go and have a rest? Yes. Who's um, in charge? Uh, me. Okay. Yes. This is Jacqueline. She's 30 years of age. She was a rear seat passenger in a taxi that was unrestrained, that's been uh, T-boned high speed. Okay. She ended up landing on the floor of the vehicle between the uh, rear, rear bench seat right. and the front seat. Jacqueline, we're going to lift you under another bed, okay? Lie real still. One, two, two three. three. Her uh, main complaint, basically, is pain to her right clavicular region. Mm -hmm. Chest seems all right, abdo is quite soft, pelvis is fine. She's got pain to her right ankle. We need to do some x-rays of your neck, so we're going to leave you in this hard collar. All right. Is this arm sore at all? Tell us where you're sore at the moment. Oh, my shoulder. Right shoulder? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Take it nice and slowly. Move. Mm. All right. Straighten this arm out for us, Jackie. Close your eyes. Don't move your head. Uh, you've got a needle already in there, so at the moment you don't. They're going to take some, probably take some blood and just check out everything there. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to do some x-rays and they'll arrive any minute, all right? It's all kind of attack at once, mm -hmm. isn't it? I only got some glass. I felt like I had glass in my eye. Did you hit the window? Mm -hmm. hit everything. You hit everything, all right. Now, if we just make an incision behind the ear here, that will allow us access to what's called the petrous temporal bone, which is a bone which is, makes part of the skull. And that bone houses all the hearing and balance apparatus within it. Once we've gone through the soft tissue, we'll encounter the bone of the skull. The whole point about surgery of the ear is that it's unlike virtually any other surgery in the body in that we need to drill through what is probably the hardest bone in the body uh, to find little membranous structures that are no more than a millimetre across. So at this stage we move on to using the microscope because it defines Structures, we can see structures better. 
Now the area of interest that we're looking at here, eardrum at the front, one of the lateral canals of movement here, the lateral semicircular canal. And this is the area of interest, the posterior semicircular canal. You can see the bone looks different in this canal. We're going to open through an area just through about where I'm drawing the circle with my pointer. At the front here is the facial nerve, so we need, we can't go any further forward here lest we damage that nerve. So that's our area of interest. Now this is the problem area. We've drilled right through all this very thick bone. We've come down to within about a cell thickness of the inner ear structures. We, are, we cannot suck on this because it will cause a problem. Uh, we'll suck out all the inner ear fluids and that will cause a lot of dizziness. And we're just going to lift off this little top or the little dome that we've created um, during the surgery. Very gently see if we can just take it off. That's coming there. And we're just going to keep putting uh, some plug in until we compress the entire curvature of this canal. We've got a, mi a millimetre diameter to work with here. Okay. So we've plugged this posterior semicircular canal uh, and we will catch up with Denise in 48 hours to see how we've cured her dizziness by this inner ear procedure and we'll be doing a positional test at that time to demonstrate exactly how much her dizziness has been cured. Excellent, excellent. She's had a previous Caesar, so we're actually going to try and take out this old scar which she wasn't terribly happy about. It's a strange sort of feeling though, isn't it? Yeah, like I know what he's doing. I can feel what he's doing, it just doesn't hurt. Come aboard. I've got to sing a new song, don't I? There's a story of a lovely lady. That's a good one. So far, so good. OK. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Just like popping a bottle of champagne. Okay. Head done? Exactly. you got a cone head for a baby. Oh, you're lovely. Beautiful <laughs> baby. Yeah. Looks a lot like it's obstetrician. Don't say it's going to be full OK. Looks a lot oh, like it's know. obstetrician. Oh, That's marvellous. Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. What'd you get, a boy or a girl? I didn't look. A boy. It's a boy. Excellent. A cricketer. Play for Australia one day. What do you think? Yeah, well, Dad's a cricketer, so Dad's yes. A cricketer? Yes. No. Dad can groom him to play cricket. Good idea. Yes, yeah, yellow. <laughs> How long is it since the operation? It's a bit over three months, I think, isn't it? Yes, it's getting close to four months now. Three, four months. And you haven't had any fits? None at all. Isn't that fantastic? It's just tremendous. Absolutely. It's been Nothing. really good. Before the operation, over that interval, I think you'd have had a number of attacks, wouldn't you? I'd have had because several by now, you'd yes. You'd have had several by now. Mm. You'd um, usually have nearly, nearly one a week on average, so... Um, right. Occasionally yes. I had one or two very close together, so it was quite good. So in this length of time, yeah. it's, uh, we're really getting somewhere. Right, and your memory's improved? Yes. It was a bit impaired after the operation. Yes, my memory's still got to come back. I mean, it'll take two years for it to come back completely, and I can obviously re see things that I can't remember, but my thinking's going a lot better in some of the areas. Working some things out, it's going a lot better. Have any problems come up or, since oh. you've been home? None in particular with me, no. The world's starting to react on me the same way as it normally does with everybody else, but no. You're in a group of patients who has reeled it extremely well. So it is only three months and a bit since the operation and we don't open the champagne till the end of the first year, but yes. I, it's very encouraging to think you've had this long interval without the fits. It's been really good. And I'm hopeful that uh, at the end of the year we can start cutting back on the medications and hope that you can manage ultimately taking nothing at all. Right, well, four months is a good start. Being completely normal. Well, I'm extremely happy with you, I must say. Yeah. Things have really birthday. gone well. Margaret's birthday today. Happy birthday, Margaret. Okay. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? I'm 46. 46? You haven't got to tell us that. <laughs> I thought you'd think <laughs> I don't that mind. yourself. It doesn't worry me at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just ringing to let you know your daughter's been in an accident, Jacqueline. And she's okay, she's not in any danger. 
okay? But we're just checking her out at the moment, okay? Okay, x-rays. Push down really, really hard. Now breathe out. Good, that's fine. Breathe on. Okay, just relax. Very good. Yeah, she's in the emergency department. All right? Um, you can come in, yes, if you want to. All right? Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, see where that's all nice and straight there. Yeah. You can see that's a bit tatty. Uh, that's it. Oh, you want to see how low it is? Yes, time. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll wait around. Are you okay? okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm my mum and dad. Yeah, I've what? rung her parents and they're going to come um, in. Are they? Yeah, yeah but her dad was anyway. I'll talk to them when they come in, don't oh. worry. I'll tell them it's okay, you just got your collar done. Mm. Mm. Are you all cold? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm just worried about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's it feeling today? Great improvement, thank you. You want to go home? Yes, please. Great. All right. Well, we'll get you flying back to Hobart tomorrow. Oh. And before you go, I just need to just test that you're OK. We're going to test this right ear. Drop your head back so that we can see that we've fixed this dizziness for you. Okay. Uh, how's your hearing? Um, there's still a slight... Um, probably some fluid still in there. A little bit fuzzy. Yeah, a bit fuzzy. But you can hear OK. Oh, certainly. Yeah, yeah so the hearing's been preserved yes, quite nicely. wonderfully. That's great. You. OK. Mm -hmm. now, I'm just going to wander around and I'm just going to drop your head back and we'll see whether we're, how we're going with the dizziness. Thank you. OK, now we're going to do exactly what we did before. We just turn your head like that. We'll drop your head back exactly like we did in the surgery the first time we saw you. And how does that feel? Good. No problems at all. Not giddy? No, no, that's mm. terrific. Not sick, not nauseous? Nothing. I think you'll be sleeping on your right side forever. Good. OK, <laughs> let's bring you up. How does it feel coming up? Because sometimes you get a spin coming yes. up. No, no. Nothing? Nothing at all. That's looking good. Sounds great. Feeling good. Well, oh. I think we can get you back home. That's where you want to be. Please. And if there's any concerns, you ring us. We're mm -hmm. here and I think we understand what's going on. Good. And... Uh, all the best to the family. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much for what okay. you've done. Appreciate everything. Well, new person. Hi, how are you going? You got a sleep? <laughs> Terrific. How do you feel today? Really good, thanks. Yeah, how's your, how's your little baby? Yeah, wonderful. That's fantastic. Really wonderful. I've heard a rumour you're going home today. Yes, certainly am. Good one, good so, one. Must have done a good job. Must have done something there, wasn't I? Well, you told me you'd done a good job, so <laughs> now I believe I'm very it. modest, aren't I? Yeah. Yes. Well, I thought if it was half as good as you said it was, then could I'd have, be all right. It must have been wonderful. Looks terrific. Sucking his thumb already. Yes. What's his name? Jacob. Jacob, another J. Yes. There's a few J's around today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. So, he looks uh, terrific. You any breast or your bottle feeding? Breast. Yes. Yeah, Good and he's work. doing really Good well. Yeah, you're doing a proud dad. Yeah. I believe she's going home today. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, any problems at all, mm -hmm. just give me a call at the hospital. Okay, then. Great. Okay, but I, I don't anticipate any. Um, <laughs> Very I, I, timely. If, if the, there's a little bit soft in parts there with the wound, mm -hmm. probably a good idea if you're going to GP in about a week's time. Right, and just get someone to have a look at it okay, and make sure then. it's healing properly. Because those problems <laughs> that you had last time... <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, this is really leaking here. It's not done well. That's not done well. <laughs> this is a. Uh, I think I better have this over to Dad. This is, this, is, this is realism, isn't it, really? Wow, yeah, real. Fantastic. Now, who did this nappy up? That's what I want to know. I did it. You did nappy up? <laughs> I think we've got to go back to nappy school. Oh. Don't we? Okay, yeah. well, let's just put this baby over here and change Stop the nappy. It, yeah. Are you changing nappy yet, Dad? Oh, I have, but. No, 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 that's just a good one for you, I think. This is. It's not so good. Okay, just a sec. You want to change it? Yeah. I change enough nappies at home at the moment. I don't need this one here. Yeah. My, home's, my baby's about 11 weeks at the moment. Yeah, doing fantastic. Yeah. And a little girl, little girl. Little, little girls don't do this sort of thing. Oh, right. So you, um, you couldn't use that cricket bat after all? No. No, the cricket bat was going to hand. I think this is an opportune time to leave the uh, the ward. Okay. 
All the best. Oh, I hope you've got to change you. your clothes to go. Yes, home. Exactly. That's why I hadn't changed. Well, one of the reasons I hadn't changed. Is that yes, right? Okay. So. Okay. Yes. I think oh, you're a show off young man. <laughs> I'll see I you later. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> That ends this series of RPA. Can I have a bit of a hand? We'll be back with the patients and staff of Royal Prince Alfred Hospital next year. Right. Okay. Right. I think you can have something between us. I thought we can go in all. <laughs>